some of the most egregious harms caused by the decisions made in shiny glass headquarters in Facebook Dublin have been in faraway places like Myanmar and Ethiopia. The ethnic violence fueled by Facebook in those countries are the opening chapters of a book too horrific to read. Uh, still here in studio with me is uh, the currencies in Kyo, Senator Shane Castles and uh, Lynn Boylan, and News Talk presenter Shane Coleman. Um, Ian, to come to you first on this, um, Frances Haugen did blow the lid on the inner workings of big tech. What message did she have for legislators today on what Ireland is doing or not doing? I think the message was quite simply we're not legislating, we're not regulating in the sense of really holding big tech and the powerhouses. Um, I mean, if you look, big tech are essentially the power plants, and that is the power plant of this current generation, of this current century, and we're doing very little. We seem either woefully underprepared to regulate them, or we're just not bothered. Uh, now, either answer to that is not a good thing, but certainly over the last five, ten years, Facebook, Google have you know, had their way in Ireland in terms of how they've dealt with their tax policies, in terms of their regulatory uh, compliance in relation to data. They've been pretty much allowed to do whatever they want. It's been a trade-off for government. We've got a lot of jobs and they've got an awful lot of corporation tax. But that game is wearing thin. If the, if the, if the argument there over the last, the big, you know, European debate was about corporation tax over the last 10, 15 years. That's been dealt with now. The next argument over the, ne over the, over the next decade is going to be about data and regulation yeah. of social media platforms. Shane, you were there and you were talking to Francis Haugen uh, today as a member of that committee. Um, would you say we're very late in trying to play catch up here, having you know, appeased these big companies, trying to lure them over here? They're all set up and you know, it's a cosy relationship and we're not dealing with the problem now. OK, well, I think the first point is we actually brought legislation into the House last night. We were debating the online uh, media bill. And I'll just make that point. So that, and that was the premise for why uh, Frances Hagen was before us uh, today. And at the point she made, and this is the important point, she talked about st understanding the system. So it's not just about the, the vile content, but understanding the systems that allow hate be uh, driven by Facebook because that drives engagement. And she says to, to understand that, you need to make sure that the commissioner who we're in point is going to have the experts to back that up. The problem there is, and here's the rub is there's only around 200 of these algorithm experts who exist in the world. To back them up, we'd need 20 in Ireland alone. So you'd need 10% of the world's actual population of algorithm experts. There's another problem. There's no undergraduate course to be an algorithm expert. You're trained in-house by Facebook. So a bit like what I said today, you'd nearly have to break into the, the chocolate factory, rub the Oompa Lumpus with the magic formula. So we'd actually have the people that could actually understand the algorithms that are being devised by Facebook. On top of that, you asked the question, how much are these guys being paid? She said a basic of half a million per person plus add-ons. It's a big ask when you know that Facebook are making 40 billion euros worth of profit for, um, for governments and the public system to fight against okay, that. Sure. But the point is, we're doing it. We brought the legislation in last night, Ian. We're making those yeah, initial can I, uh, points. Can I, can I just ask, and I'm curious, um, and, and this is it, it's a genuine question, which is, and I appreciate your committee and you know, some of the work that they've done has been really good. Do you think the government has any interest in regulating Facebook over the past decade? Well, I think the government has actually faced up to the responsibility. Previous governments maybe haven't, but this government and the, and, and the government that I am uh, a party member of certainly is. And I think that they're actually very willing to take it on. And remember, Facebook came before us in these exchanges. They were quite terse exchanges. They brought us away privately then to try and explain to us their community standards about how they deal with this file information. It left me more despaired because the because level... Because it's all in-house. Because it's all in-house. So they're making the rules and we're, we're just sort exactly of seeing how all that goes. Exactly. Exactly why we want bullying, a harassment, racism, misogyny goes on and on. There's self-regulation. Self yeah, self we've made the point that that's not acceptable anymore and that's why we're going to appoint a commissioner to deal with that. Shane, it, it is a problem here, really, that Big because time, yeah. we have, you know, we, we have this relationship, this foreign direct investment we want in the country, you know, what do you do then around that I, when all these problems, yeah, and I, they are, yeah, they that, are global that, problems. It's, they are global are problems. There. Look, Let's call a spade a spade. We're, bad. We're good at many things in this country. We are not good at regulation, whether it's planning, whether it's financial services or big tech. And we haven't done a good job at regulating big tech. Are we equipped to do it now? I suspect we're not for a couple of reasons. One of them, politically, um, you mentioned, we are hugely dependent on, on, uh, on big tech. Uh, do you throw the, the baby out with the bathwater? I think there's a certain reluctance to do that. So but do you I, think the appetite is there? I, I think the appetite is growing because I think we can't 
ignore it anymore. I think that's the service uh, Frances Haugen has done and what an impressive woman she is. She has done the service. I don't think we could ignore it any further. But I think the big issue is the economics of it. Can you have 27 across the EU different regulators all paying a half a million t top job and hundreds of thousands to, to everybody else? There? I don't think you can. I think politically and financially it would make more sense if you had an EU office of regulation uh, that could come down hard. And on we are companies. hearing the EU will get more involved maybe in latter years, but it's still up to us, um, Lynn, to, to do something about this now. Uh, what would Sinn Féin do in this situation? Because whatever is announced, it needs to have teeth. And what Francis Haugen appeared to be saying today is, um, you know, it won't. Yeah, and, and like, look, I'd echo what, what's already been said. There has been a huge reluctance by the governments previous to this one to tackle the big tech companies and to regulate them and to directly regulate them. And what we need now is, as you said, we need the, the commissioner to have the teeth, to have the resources to do the job. And we need to get the transparency from Facebook because I think one of the things that she was saying was around, you know, the Facebook gives you no information. So no information about the moderators, about the language that the moderators have, the paying conditions of the moderators because they're doing the worst job of all, whatever about the algorithm designers. And we need to force, again, regulate that Facebook introduces those algorithm changes that force, okay. force stop that kind of constant pushing you towards the do you mean the violence and towards the more extreme content now, Facebook on that like because they've issued a statement saying contrary to claims about our company we've always had the commercial incentive to remove harmful content from our platform people don't want to see us when they use our apps and, and advertisers don't want ads next to us that's their defense it's in their interest not to have this online well, the evidence would suggest otherwise I mean I think there was one case where they were talking about is it in Germany where you know it was the people who joined uh, far-right organizations were directed to join that from Facebook links so we know the evidence I mean we've seen the evidence we've heard from 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 the whistleblower France is saying you know that Facebook know about the damage that they're doing and the harm that they're doing to young people and the impact they're having in terms of conflicts around the world and they're not taking the measures and even if you look at so, Twitter which is far from perfect it has at least things where it goes please you know do you want to read the article before you, you retweet it like they're simple things they're not huge asks that we could ask of Facebook just to slow down that constant yeah. uh, I, like, clicking I, I, and sharing. And I, and I like that you know you could ask these things of a, of a tech giant they will essentially do what they please unless regulations say otherwise. Oh that's what I mean it has to be regulations we yeah. can't rely on these tech companies to regulate themselves. Okay. Part of the problem here Ian is like if we do have a body like this, like there's no direct complaints mechanism because they've already said that, you know, Catherine Martin has said, yes, we will set up, we will have this online safety commissioner, but we can't cope with complaints from a population of 480 million people right around Europe. No, I mean, it's, look at, I've seen headlines and people talk about, you know, David versus Goliath. It's not, it's, you know, Goliath versus you know, David's little brother. We are. We just can't deal with this. It's. It's just. I mean, the the idea. It's not so long ago that the Data Protection Commissioner um, was operating above a spar in the Midlands. That's a little money or a little effort that we've given that particular body. They've increased the resources and they've they've increased the people coming. We don't have the capability to do it. Even if we took all of the lawyers from the top ten or fifteen law firms in the country, it would still be pale in comparison to the level of resource that Facebook and Google and everyone else can throw at it. This really needs change, right? This needs to be done uh, on a, on a pan-European level. Facebook is a multinational company. Trying to regulate them on a national basis doesn't make any sense. Uh